welcome to Japan, home of the Gachapon. Here we got a wide selection of fantastic plastic that serves absolutely no purpose. Case in point, here we got us some micro onigiri. That's a pretty nice rice triangle set right there, but I think if I wanted some onigiris, I'd go on ahead and get them at the cafeteria. So let's see what else we got around here. And wow, just wow, we got us some skeleton baseball players, just what I was in the market for. They got the skelly batter, the skelly pitcher, and the skelly catcher. What will they think of next? And what's this? Check it out, baby cakes. We got us some serious Shiba Inu action in the house. We got dogs with their heads shoved through charting paper, through a hot dog, through a manhole cover. Wowza, we also got us a flotation device, Mount Fuji itself, and a Sharaku painting. I think these poor little dogs need themselves a helping hand, so I think I'll pick up myself one of these puppies. For the low price of 300 yen, I can give one of these stuck dogs a helping hand. So I turned that dial, that ball shot out the bottom, and if you want to see what I got, just wait till later in the video when I open everything up. In the meantime, here's some porta potty action. The top model we got here is a see-through porta potty. Oh, is a classic. They got them the squatting style toilets and the western style toilets. So if you're in the market to have yourself a miniaturized portable latrine, you've come to the right place. And whoa! Speaking of toilets, we got us a serious fairy tale romance popping off over here. This gacha pwn collection follows all the stages of a standard stick figure courtship. We've got the first meeting, the push-pull, the skinship, we've got us the Titanic, and last but not least, we've got us the pillow talk. Pretty nice collection right there. Dare I say, a decent collection. Kind of wondering when they're going to film a Hollywood remake of that classic tale. And what's this? Did we just stumble across some helmet turtles? I think we did. We got some first responder helmet turtles, a police helmet, an army helmet, and a baseball helmet. Well, they serve zero purpose whatsoever, but I can't help but feel that I might want to get just one. I mean, I've lived my whole life up to this point without owning a single helmet turtle. How did I let that happen? So I slammed in that coinage, turned to that dial, and got myself a nice little turtle, and check this out. We got some serious miniaturized karate chop slabs over here, not looking half bad. But if you want to move on from the martial arts to the ballistic weapons, then get a load of this. I'm not exactly sure what we're looking at here, but I think we got us some partially lodged bullet action. We got some wad cutters, some hollow points, some round noses, and some flat noses. You know the drill. But what do we got next over here? And whoa, 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 hold the phone. Check out those buck wild clan banners. Maybe it's not too exciting to you, but I do like myself a little Japanese history from time to time, and I do like the fact that you can put that banner on your phone. I used to like watching those Akira Kurosawa samurai movies, so I think as an homage to that director, I'll get myself a little banner. It's definitely going to have zero impact on my life, but I can't help but wonder what it's going to look like, so I got myself one of those bad boys. And now we're jumping from historical banners to swan boats. These collections pretty much have everything. And I'm not exactly in the market for a swan boat, but I can't help but admit they're looking as cute as a flute. So let's see what else we got around here and check it out, baby. We got us some serious bread collections here. Now, Pasco Bread is a real bread company in Japan. You can basically get it at any supermarket, but these go for 300 yen. Costs more than the actual thing. I mean, one loaf of real Pasco costs about 200 yen. So what do they think I am? Made of money? In other words, I think I'm going to give that Pasco a pass. What else we got here? Sweet tits? Seems to me like we got us some telework animals. I guess in this chaotic day and age, everyone's doing Google Meet and Zoom, which means that you could basically wear a suit jacket and tie on the top and wear no pants on the bottom. In other words, this telework thing's so easy, even the pets are doing it, so I think I'll give this collection a go. I kind of like the idea of wearing a three-piece suit minus the pants, and I must say these are some strange times we are living in. So I grabbed myself that gacha pwn, then moved on to some more collections, and I think it's safe to say we got a serious cliffhanger on our hands. We got Luke Skywalker, Boba Fett, Yoda, and some other characters just chillaxing by the edge of a cliff. What will they think of next? And check it out, we got some glow-in-the-dark baby seals. Those seals are looking round as hell and kawaii AF. Serves no purpose whatsoever, but I can't help but say that that's a pretty majestic-looking mammal right there. And whoa, Nelly, we got us some castle furniture, and check it out, we got us Animal Sauna version 3. 
I've been punching myself in the ball sack for missing out version 1 and 2, so this is finally my chance to sink my teeth deep inside version 3. I think I like the pig and the chihuahua the best, but I guess I wouldn't mind getting any of them, so let me jam that coinage into the hatch. Now it's time to turn that dial, get that capsule, sprint on back to my apartment, and unveil the gachapone. Now I'm a little short on time today, so I'm gonna skip the usual pleasantries of painstakingly opening each capsule on camera and just cut to the good stuff. I mean, I am still opening the capsules, I'm just doing it a tad more quicker than usual, can you blame me? So first up, we got that telework pet, and it's looking real crisp in that nice suit jacket. That fine canine's looking baller to the max and pimping out of control. It's in a high-profile meeting without pants nor underwear, and I think it's safe to say that that's one of the good dogs. Next up, it's time for some helmet turtle action, and check it out, baby. It's got its head and legs retracted inside that helmet, and I think those details of the turtle are pretty realistic. I mean, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I have held a few baby turtles in my day, and this thing looks like the real deal. And whoa, you can actually move the appendages? You can basically extend that head and those legs. Key takeaway, nice effing turtle right there. What else we got here? Banner time. Now, the promo paper in here calls this the Imagawa clan, which I never really heard of before, but I checked it out on the interwebs, and it is, in fact, a legit clan from ancient times. Sounds good in theory, but in actual practice, putting this thing together was the bane of my existence. It felt like there was 20 moving parts, and I snapped one of them by mistake, so I tried to super glue it together, but instead I got that super glue on my thumb. So eventually I just gave up, ended up taping the freaking thing, put that banner on the top, and it's not even draping. Man, those huge wrinkles are an eyesore. I'm getting some serious buyer's remorse over here. Definitely should have bought those toilet romance characters instead of this, if only I could go back in time. Let me at least try out the suction cup function here. This has got to work. I mean, the promo did say this thing will stick to your phone, but so far, no dice. I don't know, does this back case have some kind of micro texture to it? Maybe the suction cup will stick to the front. And surprise, surprise, didn't even stick to the front screen either. Basically hate that banner now, so let me move on to something that'll hopefully bring my spirits back up. And it's not looking half bad, sweet cheeks. Here we have a sauna elephant that chillax into the max with its eyes closed. It's covering up its hoo-ha with a towel, and it's got some pretty sweet tusks. And last but not least, we got the Shiba Inu with its head stuck inside an object. And wow, is that the Shardaku painting right there? I think it actually is. I mean, having your head stuck in something is never a good feeling, but some objects are definitely worse than others, right? So let me just undrill that keychain to let that dog feel a tad more comfortable and take a look. That's a nice traditional painting right there. Some nice paw action, a nice tail, and a nice dog. So overall, that's a pretty nice gotcha pawn haul, if I do say so myself. By the way, if you want to support the channel and get some sweet gotcha pawn every month, then feel free to check out my subscription box service. I got a Patreon link to it here, or you can check out my previous Gotcha Pwn video as well. So thanks again for watching to the end, baby cakes, and I hope you have a real nice day.